welcome back to Gate of Theories. Today we're going to be talking about the HBO show The Flight Attendant and I've got a theory for you guys. However, be warned this following video will contain spoilers for the show. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it and then come back to this video. Now the spoiler warning is over, get comfortable and let's get on with the video. So I was scrolling through streaming services as you do, trying to find a new show to watch. When I came across The Flight Attendant, I watched the little preview and thought I'd give it a try. And oh boy was I glad I did. After just one episode, I was hooked. Firstly, the show definitely had that HBO sprinkling. You guys know what I mean, with each episode finishing with a cliffhanger that makes it hard to not just watch the next episode. So obviously, I watched the show pretty quickly. I've got to say, the twists and turns really made it an enjoyable quick viewing. I was also surprised by how good Kaylee Cuoco was in it. Having only previously seen her in comedies, it was refreshing to see her acting talent be on full show. However, I have to say, the star of the show was Michelle Gomez. She is just brilliant as Miranda. She brings that British element to the character that just makes a great villain of the show, or as it seems for the first five or six episodes. Anyway, as brilliant as Michelle Gomez was as Miranda, let's talk about the character itself. As you have probably read from the title, Miranda, the character, is in question. So why do I think she is not real? Well, let's delve into that. A good place to start with is the final episode. In the season finale, we see Buckley and Miranda have a fight in a lift, with the fight concluding with Buckley punching and knocking out Miranda after an intense fight. When Cassie finally discovers Buckley hiding in the shower, we see the body of Miranda slumped in the bath with blood on her face and what as the audience and Cassie presume as someone who is now dead. And she should be, as Buckley is a deadly killer who wouldn't leave someone alive. We then get a scene that ensues with Buckley looking like he has won and will finally kill Cassie until Shane of all people storm in and shoots him. I mean what a twist that was! Shane then reveals that he is an, actually a CIA agent who has been after Megan. All fine so far until after the bodies and injuries have been sorted out and Cassie asks Shane if Miranda is okay, saying she was in the bathroom and she came out to help me with this. Did they take her somewhere? To which Shane replies, no one else was in the room. Now, I know Miranda is great and all at this sneaking about business, but there is no way after being left unconscious, if not dead, that she would have got away without anyone seeing her. I mean, as a CIA agent, Shane would have swept both the room, bathroom and hallway to check no one else was there with Buckley as help, as well as seeing how many people would be needing medical assistance. So this got me thinking, is Miranda therefore not a real person? And if so, how can this be? Well, don't worry, I've got the answer for you. Cassie goes through a traumatic event with her waking up next to her dead Alex Sokolov. And this clearly takes a huge mental toll on her. I mean, of course it did. Who wouldn't be affected by such an event? Now, we know Cassie has a vivid imagination with her throughout the show having moments with Alex Sokolov in her head. This imagination, I believe, was also on show with her creator Miranda. Miranda is a person who only Cassie sees, as she isn't real but part of Cassie's imagination to try and cope with the traumatic event. It is also not uncommon for people who are intoxicated with alcohol to see things such as hallucinations. And as we know, Cassie was rarely not intoxicated. But we'll come back to that later on. So Miranda isn't real and is just made up by Cassie. That's a great idea, but what's the evidence, I hear you ask? Well, the show gives us tons of evidence. Firstly, Cassie only remembers that Miranda was with her and Alex on their date when she is under pressure by the FBI in an interrogation straight off the plane, back from Bangkok. Why does she remember then? Because she needs something to take away the blame for killing Alex. Now, it was Buckley who killed Alex, but at this point, Cassie genuinely believes she might have done it. So she makes up Miranda as someone to blame or deflect onto in her panic. Moving forward to the second FBI interrogation, Cassie feels the pressure and blurts her whole night out, missing the fact that Miranda was there. Until Alex in her head reminds her and then she mentions Miranda, almost like a subconscious trying to deflect the blame again. When the FBI agent asks her, what can you tell us about the woman, she replies, No, because I can't fucking remember her, but she 
was there, I am telling you. And why can't she remember? Because Miranda was never there, as she doesn't exist. Then we come to Cassie coming back from Rome and finding out someone has broken into her flat. Now, as a viewer, we're shown it's Miranda. However, it wasn't. It was most likely Buckley who had been stalking her and already knew where she lived. When Cassie tells Annie about this, her friend's first reaction is to tell her off for leaving a spare key in such an obvious position for anyone to break in with. Not that it probably was Miranda. Cassie then goes to the funeral after thinking Miranda was Alex's last girlfriend. But then asking Alex's mother, she replies with Fiona has been his last girlfriend. And when asked about Miranda, she just looks blankly because Miranda isn't a real person. Later on in the episode, when Cassie spies on Alex's mother talking about Miranda, I believe that that is her listening in, but making up that they know about Miranda to keep her belief in Miranda alive. The third episode concludes with Cassie finally seeing Miranda in person on the train. The fourth episode starts with Cassie being apparently chased by Miranda. Cassie runs till she finds police officers on the train and tries to tell them that there is a woman chasing her, but by the time she turns around, Miranda has mysteriously disappeared because, as you guessed it, again, she was never there. At the end of episode 4, it is implied that Sabrina was killed by Miranda. However, in the final episode, Buckley reveals he did it rather than the imaginary Miranda. But Cassie believes Miranda did it and even tells Special Agent Van White at the start of episode 5, but when he in return replies with, have you got any evidence for this, Cassie can't reply as well, there is none. Now, the bit in episode 5 where Cassie and Max are in Alex's apartment will probably be the bit where most people say this theory about Miranda being imaginary should fall apart, except it doesn't. Now, in the show we see that it's Miranda who destroys the computer, however, I believe it was actually Cassie, as well Miranda couldn't do that as she's not real. But how is this possible? Well, when Max and Cassie realise they need to find a fob in the apartment to unlock the computer, they split up to look for it. While they're looking, Cassie has a big argument with Alex in her head. This argument actually manifested itself in real life with her destroying the computer. And Max doesn't see her do it as they're split up, looking for the fob. And why we as the viewers see Miranda do it is because the story is told from Cassie's perspective. And as far as she's concerned, she didn't break the computer, but instead the mysterious Miranda did. The end of episode 5 sees Max and Cassie go to the lionfish place and get in their computers where they see Cassie's ID on screen with others who are deceased and an Elena King who is pending. Cassie I believe latches onto the only other ID which is pending and says that this person is Miranda, probably to convince Max that it wasn't here at Alex's house who destroyed the computer. In episode 6, we as the audience see Miranda kill the FBI agent, but again in episode 8 it is revealed that Buckley did that, not Miranda. Episode 6 also sees Cassie and Buckley go on an adventure that ends up with Cassie being locked up for a bit before someone mysteriously bails her out. What's interesting is the way she leaves the police station looking for a person, but no one is there. Which therefore, I believe, leads Cassie's brain to overcompensate and when she's round the corner, see Miranda as a logical explanation and therefore, we as the audience see that it is Miranda who bailed her out. When in actual fact, I believe it was her brother, Davey. In the US, a person can remotely bail someone out of jail even from another state. This would make sense as she rang Davey and the fact he shows up at the airport at the end of episode 8 to meet Cassie, I think supports this. In episode 7, Again, you will say this theory falls down because Annie finally meets Miranda. However, does she? What I find interesting is actually the camera work in this scene because most of the camera angles from behind Annie when talking to Cassie has Annie covering Miranda so she can't be seen. A nice subtle hint from the show. But if you listen to the way Annie responds and the facial expression she makes, it's almost like when you see a parent talking to their child and their child's imaginary friend. Annie, as Cassie's good friend, doesn't want to tell Cassie that there is no one else with them, so instead she just plays along. This is also why it appears like Annie is just trying to make excuses as to why she can't just bring Miranda into the FBI. And when Cassie doesn't like this, Annie then keeps playing along and says it may take a bit longer to keep Cassie happy. It's also why she tells Cassie to wait in a hotel to try and keep her safe from herself. And then we come to the plane ticket 
for Miranda. Cassie arranges the plane ticket as she genuinely believes Miranda is real, so gets her one. However, when Miranda doesn't show up in the seat because she isn't real, Cassie makes up the story in her head that she got shot and therefore had to take the next flight. It's also why the FBI and Annie only look for Buckley on the flights and not this Miranda, because again, she isn't real. Finally, the note Miranda supposedly leaves for her at the end of the episode 8. When Cassie finds the note in her coat in the book, she rushes outside to see Miranda, but she's not there because again, she's not a real person. But that doesn't explain why Cassie wouldn't see her. Well, let's circle back to something I said earlier in the video. Can I get a replay? It is also not uncommon for people who are intoxicated with alcohol to see things such as hallucinations. And as we know, Cassie was rarely not intoxicated. I believe because Cassie has now gone sober for two weeks, she stops having these wildly vivid hallucinations and therefore doesn't see Miranda because her hallucinations are now gone. It's also why on the plane in the next scene she stops seeing Alex in her head. And that wraps it up. So there are just a few points that I hope now convinces you that Miranda in the flight attendant wasn't a real person, but rather a person made up by Cassie as a coping mechanism which was excelled by the alcohol in her system. So do you agree with me? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video or found it at all interesting, make sure you click that like button and why not share this video on social media. If you're new to the channel, why not hit that subscribe button for more theories, reviews, tier lists, top 10s and much more every Tuesday and Friday. And join us on Sundays for our Then and Now Sundays. So you're gonna wanna click that subscribe button if you're already subscribed and mint like that, why not also click that bell button so you never miss a new video. And if you still need more content, then make sure you check out our other channel, Got Reacts, where we do daily reaction videos. Link in the description. I've been Lewis, you've been watching Gate of Theories. Thanks for watching and see you on Sunday for a brand new Then and Now Sunday. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see the Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights, the Stockholm lights. I never